celebrating our women in different industries. And what we have noticed is that there are so many engineers in Tobago. I did not even know that there are so many female engineers in Tobago. And my guest today is one of the same. Um, she wears many various hats, and she's also an engineer. She's also certified as an engineer. Um, today with me is Ms. Jasia Ibrahim. Welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So just tell us a little bit about yourself, because I know that, as I said, you wear so many hats. Yeah. You are an engineer by profession. Mm -hmm. You are also the president of the Tobago Rotary Club. You're also certified in event management and project mm -hmm. management. So this is women doing their thing in the space mm -hmm. and representing themselves. So tell us a little bit more. What do you think about the fact that there are so many female engineers in Tobago? I did not know. I am so proud. And I mm -hmm. feel as if our women have done really well. I mean, there's so much more we can do. And once we allow it, and once we give ourselves the opportunity that we can do so much more. What do you, how do you feel about being a part of this whole, you know, movement of engineers in Tobago? Actually, um, it's really something that when you sit down and think about it, you know, we are a very small percentage right. in the grand scheme of things. Right. Um, growing up, I had one example mm -hmm. of what a female engineer was. Mm -hmm. So for me, from a very young age, I knew that I was possible, but I was still one example. Right. Outside of that example, at that point in time, you know, we didn't have social media, we didn't have mm -hmm. all these things. So what your world was like was what was exactly right in front of you. Mm -hmm. And that one example, which was my neighbor, mm -hmm. luckily I was wow. fortunate, <laughs> yes. you know, um, she really was my role model. Mm -hmm. I don't even think she knows that, wow. right? Because she knows it, was, now. <laughs> <laughs> it was simply me looking at somebody in safety boots and in a hard right, hat going right. out to work mm -hmm. and realizing that I'm only seeing men doing this right. thing, and this is this female doing this, and I just kind of wanted to be, you know, be like that. With yeah. this because traditionally, what we know women as women in the world of work, yeah. what we know them as in the is in the business suit Correct. and the stilettos yes. and the little makeup yes. and your handbag yes. on your side and you're heading off to work. Yes. So seeing somebody in this outfitted in this way going mm -hmm. to work as a woman. Mm -hmm. Of course, would we'll pique your curiosity as a, at a tender course, age. So I understand course. where the influence <laughs> came from. I understand. And neighbor, thank you so much. Josiah is now a certified engineer and she's representing us here in Tobago. Yes. Added to that, you are also the president of the Rotary Club of Tobago. Tell us yes. a little bit about that and how it feels to be a female president. Okay. Well, um, actually, originally I'm from Trinidad. So I moved to Tobago in 2012. Right. And that is 11 years now. Mm -hmm. So when I moved to Tobago, um, I would have joined the Rotaract Club, right. which is the youth arm of Rotary, mm -hmm. and uh, naturally progressed as I got older yeah. into the Rotary Club. Mm -hmm. And this year, actually, it's the first year in 117 years mm -hmm. internationally that we have the first female president eh. of Rotary, which is Miss, Mrs. Jennifer Jones. Wow. So I am very happy to be in the year that yes. as an international organization, mm -hmm. we created history because for 117 years, right. there have only been male presidents. Right. Right. And my in Tobago itself, we've had a number of female presidents right, right. previously. Right. So I'm just very proud and happy to be a part of, of that. Of course, it's an, honorable, it's an honorable title to hold. Correct. And what are some of the responsibilities that you hold as president? What exactly is the Rotary Club and what are your responsibilities? Mm -hmm. And how do men respond to your responsibility as the president? Okay, so as the president of the Rotary organization, so first of all, we're a non a nonprofit organization. Right. And we basically focus on many areas of um, community service, basic literacy, disease prevention, the environment. Mm -hmm. So there are a number of areas that we place focus on. Mm -hmm. And in Tobago, there are two Rotary Clubs. Mm -hmm. There's the Rotary Club of Tobago and there's the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago. So we are an organization that is open to volunteers. Mm -hmm. So it's a volunteer organization. Right. Um, male, female, it doesn't matter the background. Um, as I said, we have Interact, mm -hmm. which is the youth right. in schools. So that's 12 to 18. Okay. Rotaract, which is 18. And they've now, previously it was up to 30. Mm -hmm. So they've now expanded that a little because they realize, you know, some people want to stay in that sort of organization a bit longer. longer. And then we move into Rotary at a, 
I would say 35 okay. onward. Right. So we do a lot of projects throughout the island of Tobago. Recently did a wheelchair distribution mm -hmm. for 40 recipients in right. Tobago. So we do a number wherever there's a need, mm -hmm. we come in. Um, in terms of men, actually, funny enough, Rochi was... A male organization yes, that's what I up remember until it being, yes. the 70s, mm -hmm. right? So in the 70s, they would have advocated for women mm -hmm. to join the club. And of course, we add our perspective and right. we add our voices. Mm -hmm. we, we add a little the magic. Touch, the yes, touch, yes, of course. Right? <laughs> and now it is actually in our club, mm -hmm. uh, it is actually 70% female. Wow. <laughs> 70% male. Man. Oh. We are not trying we to. Love you all, eh? yes. We love you all. <laughs> We're not trying but... to outweigh. But we are trying to get that balance. Yes. And we always are open to having that, that male, more males in the club, to have mm. that equity, right, that right. equality, that balance. Because I think we, we work hand in hand. Yes. You know, and um, we definitely are open to having more volunteers join. True. So, Jaseya, uh, you know, I mentioned earlier that you wear so many hats. Mm -hmm. Engineer. Yes. President, you're also certified in project management and mm -hmm. event management. How, what are some of the projects that you worked on mm -hmm. that you felt proud about at the mm -hmm. end of it? Okay, well, in my profession mm -hmm. um, as an environmental engineer, mm -hmm. I work at the Division of Health. Right. Under public health, mm -hmm. projects under public health mm -hmm. with regard to waste management. Right. So I... I also work um, at the study park integrated waste Ooh. facility, which is dominated by males. Right. right? <laughs> uh, very, very interesting, you know, um, personalities that you have to deal with. And I actually have a lot of fun working right. with um, that group. Um, and people, a lot of people don't know that Tobago actually is the only engineered landfill in Trinidad and Tobago. So what does that mean? Before we move forward, what I, I need to understand, what does that mean? Right. So mm. it means usually people say, you know, you go to the landfill, you go to the dump. Mm -hmm. But we actually have an engineered waste facility, which means that the way that we manage and deal with our waste mm -hmm. is in an engineered manner. Mm. We have engineered cells. We, we line, you know, the, the, so the, we prevent pollution by right. lining the soil right. with material. So it's a process that we follow right, right. when we deal with your waste. Mm. And people always say, you make this sound so interesting. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing, I'm <laughs> you drawing. You make this sound so interesting. So we facilitate field trips. We facilitate right. site visits. Right. And the students are always amazed when they come to Sudley Park and actually see the process mm. that we follow. And we're very proud when we go to of Trinidad course. to do presentations mm. because there they actually any... seek advice from right. Tobago to with set regards up to model. setting up in, right. um, engineered landfills in Listen. <laughs> So for all you school teachers, <laughs> um, all you organizers of groups, um, community groups, whatever you, you have, listen, plan a field trip. <laughs> and take me with you because I want to go. <laughs> I want to see how this is done. I, it's something I never thought about. Yeah, you wouldn't just I wouldn't be even think about really where does think my about waste where does really waste go? go? You know, and how is yes. it processed? Like, yes. you know? So it's an interesting thing to yes. learn. So I'm very proud of that. Mm. And as well as um, being in the initial group of persons that would have brought um, TRRI, which is the Recycling Depot, yes, to yes. Tobago. Right. So we worked for years on bringing that to Tobago. Right. So that is one of the projects that I'm really proud of. Right, me too, because when, I, when it was introduced, I was like, oh, finally, yes. because it's something that is absolutely necessary oh, as environmentalists, mm -hmm. environmental engineer. Yes. It's an important thing to preserve our environment because when mm -hmm. you see how our waste destroys our mm -hmm. environment. It's really appalling. So I'm proud of you, girl. I <laughs> am so you. proud of you <laughs> as a you. woman in male-dominated industry. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your um, affiliation and mm -hmm. in, um, involvement in events. Okay, because well, I know you yes. from the, where I know you from primarily is on the event scene, right? right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so sometimes when people see me, they say, okay, which hat you wearing today? Right, because <laughs> right? you wear so many, yes. and so gracefully, you know? Yes, thank you. So mm. I have always been somebody that was that has always been very organized, always organizing something from small, you know, mm. you have a birthday party, you're right. organizing that. Mm -hmm. And I would have attended Bishop Anthony High School, Port of Spain. Mm -hmm. And when you go to that school and you take up responsibility, they give you responsibility. responsibility. Right. So from house captain, organizing match pass mm -hmm. and all these different things. Naturally, when I went into UE, mm -hmm. I got involved in events right. at UE. Mm -hmm. So that just, continued right. it was always something that i was passionate about mm -hmm. it was always something that people said i was good at right. because i was just doing what i love right. so i decided 
you know, let me put some effort into this. Let me learn about it a bit more. Mm -hmm. So I would have done event management. Yeah. And yeah, you know, when Don't you have just to work... say I would have done <laughs> event management. You are certified. Yes. Right. In event management. And yeah. of course it shows because as I said, I know you from the event scene. Yeah. And all of the events I know you to be involved in, I find them to be of noteworthy standard, you know. Yeah. So congratulations. And again, it's something to be proud of, you know. And our women who are coming up, it's 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 really good to see that this program has embraced our women and acknowledge and recognize that we need to celebrate women, not just on one day. We need to celebrate each other every single day, mm -hmm. you know, and we need to support each other and continue to promote each other's um, passions and goals and support as much as we could. So I'm really happy mm -hmm. that I had the opportunity to speak with you, to speak with other young women in the industry, in different industries mm -hmm. um, as we celebrate um, International Women's Day. The theme this year is Digital mm -hmm. um, Innovation and Technology and Equality, Gender Equality. What do you think about the theme and how is it relevant to the industry that you work in or the different industries that you are affiliated with? Well, it has made things a lot easier. Yes. Um, it has made information a lot more accessible. Mm -hmm. So especially for engineering, you know, um, we sit with, um, we do maths, you have to do tons and tons of formula manually, right. you know, do all these different things. And now you have so much programs and software. Well, just input calculations right. and it works everything out mm -hmm. for you. So it, it makes things a lot easier. Um, as I said before, I did not have access to information mm. or when I was um, growing up in terms of um, social media or even seeing those examples. Right. So now you have Instagram pages dedicated mm -hmm. to female engineers. Yes. You have pages dedicated to anything in, possible, industry, yes. anything right. possible. Mm -hmm. And you can create that feed. You can yeah. curate that feed right. that, you know, in terms of what you see mm -hmm. growing up. Yes. what you're interested in growing mm. up. You could Google anything. You could YouTube right. anything. Correct. I mean, engineering is a solution-oriented sort of field. Mm. And I mean, you could go on and YouTube any sort of solution right. and try to figure things out. out. So right. it has really made things a lot more easier, easier and, and information a lot a more accessible. accessible. Yeah. Well, Josiah, it was such a pleasure talking with you, Josiah. Yeah. It was such a pleasure. <laughs> I've mispronounced your name for so many years. So a I'm lot happy. of people. Just see it's, it's just see yes. It was such a pleasure speaking with you this morning. Mm -hmm. And viewers, remember to share the live, share the live, share the live before we go to a break. Just here, is there anything you'd like to say to anyone listening this morning, mm -hmm. especially our young women as they um, begin to pursue their career goals, their family goals, whatever mm -hmm. goals they have? What, what word of encouragement would you have to give to a young woman looking at us this morning? I would say, you know, be yourself. Right. Um, your contribution is priceless. Mm -hmm. um, when you're in spaces where you feel intimidated or you feel like you don't belong, um, just show up. Yes. You know, show up. Speak in rooms that you, you, may, you may be shaking, you may be afraid, but your contribution is priceless. Your voice needs to be heard and give your contribution. Yes. Be confident within what you know because you, you know. You right. know the same thing that everybody yes. in the room knows. Even if you don't know, don't be afraid to ask a question, you know? So just make your presence felt, mm -hmm. you know, and that confidence develops over time. You're not gonna wake up one day and it just magically, That's you're the right. most confident person in the room, but it's something that you work on every single day. Thank you so much, yeah. Jasia. And you heard it, one of my mentors always say to me, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. So speak up in places that matter and you never know who might be listening to you and what opportunities can be presented to you. We take a break now, but I encourage you to share the live, share the live, share the live. Thanks for favor to wake up and hear me neighbor. 60,000 people strong.